Welcome to another edition of Workshop Wednesday with MeasurementMarketing.io. We are going to be talking about setting up goals in Google Analytics 4 with the most updated version. There's some brand new updates that you're going to want to make sure that you know about. My name is Julie Brody. I am the Director of Measurement for MeasurementMarketing.io and I've been building actionable dashboards for a really long time. I've also been teaching measurement also for a really long time now and I proudly am one of the lead account managers uh, for our dedicated measurement management clients as well as someone you might recognize back there in the Measurement Marketing Academy with courses and workshops like these as well as ask an instructor so if you're back there already in the academy please reach out to us at, at as no, well please reach out to us at ask an instructor and we'd love to hear from you as we go through any workshop or any training we remind you to do one thing and that is to get one thing don't try to grab all the things we're going to throw at you get one thing take it and make it your own like the golden nugget the cookie whatever it is you're going to take make it your own come back and get something else so let's go ahead and get started with setting up goals in Google Analytics 4 updated. So let's go ahead and start with the foundation of all things measurement, and that is our measurement marketing framework. So as you know, we have our plan, build, and launch step that you see over here on the left-hand side, and we're going to go through, we want to be coming out of this marketing in the blind. We are currently in this chaotic state and we want to grow into being able to reliably grow our revenue profits. We want to know what's working, what's not. We have no visibility, we want better visibility. And then we're going to go through the plan, which is questions, information, and action. This is so pivotal for your marketing. You need to know what questions. This is going to really come in handy as we go through this goals uh, in Google Analytics 4. You need to know what questions you have the information you need to answer those questions and the actions you're t you will take with that information. Then you go on to your build where the results, this is also part of your goals that you're going to have, then your traffic, tying those results to traffic, and then understanding the story, kind of, you know, putting a whole, the whole picture together so you can understand and go on to the launch step where you're listening to it. What is it telling you? Is Facebook converting less or more on one certain step? Or is Google Ads doing better? Is email doing better? Why listening and having all the other parts of the framework together, you'll be able to do that. Then you can move on to forecast and optimize. And you're going to do this over and over and over again with the measurement marketing framework. And as you can see, there's several parts of this framework that are going to be really important for you to know for today. So let's go ahead and jump in to our actual presentation for goals in Google Analytics 4. So here is a old goal for universal analytics and we're talking about migrating our goals just in case you have some and we you want to move them over so this is something called a destination goal and usually your destination goals are going to look something like this there's a regular expression or your other options we're not going to go to into this too much but just know it's a portion of the url that's what it is. It's looking at the page URL, and that's the thing that is looking for and going to give you a yes signal or a no signal. That's what it's doing. So how do we transition this into Google Analytics 4? Well, let's come over into our Google Analytics 4, and here is our property here. And we don't see anything that says goals. So we're going to come actually out of this. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because I'll know I'll need this in a minute. And we come over here and same uh, same account, different property, and we can see here we have goals. Very obvious, we don't have goals over here. You can poke in all the other things. I'm gonna tell you they're not there. We do have this one thing called conversions, which is fantastic. We can definitely utilize this. So let's go ahead and poke around. This is stuff that we have already set up here. And what it's we're able to do, we can see this little blue button says new conversion of it. Let's check that out. Here it's saying your new event name. Well, I'm not quite sure what that is. If you're brand new, you might like what's going on. Well, what it's asking you to do is say, hey, tell us about the event first, and then guess what? It's going to be really easy to turn into a conversion. So let's go ahead to this events part first, and then we'll figure out how to turn it into a conversion. So again, we already have some stuff going on here, but we're going to go ahead and pretend we don't. We're going to go and dismiss all that stuff right there. 
and create an event. And then you would do this exact step too. You would choose your data stream. Most likely you only have one. We have a lot of other things going on, so we have one. You also most likely will have nothing here, but we're gonna go ahead and choose create and we're going to walk through these steps. So we're gonna go ahead and enter, name this. We're gonna say Academy and we have to uh, sales page view we're just going to name it something whatever it is that you want to call it we do have a naming convention we like with our ace results where they're aware they're complete engaged highly encourage you to check that one out but we're just going to keep this really generic for now so over here into another tab we're going to check something that we are in our reports and in real time um, if you are familiar at all with Google Analytics 4 or just done some poking around, you've probably been to the screen. And I really like the screen to kind of help build out things here. Um, and we'll come to this in just a second. And so what I like to do, so this is event name. So these, remember all these events that it's telling us we need to create? Well, that's what these event names are. And we come in here and it's even telling us event underscore name. That's what it's looking for. So event name equals, or one of these other operators. And so we can say, well, I know we want to do probably a page view. Let's click on that one and see what else we have. And then we have more information. I'm going to help you out. The next thing you're going to want to look for is page location. And this is the detail, the same thing that we had when we looked at our previous goal here. Those are the same parts and pieces. Okay, so not that part, this part. So now we kind of know we need to look at page view and page location. We can build this out. So if you're transitioning a or migrating uh, or rebuilding is actually probably a better word rebuilding your goals into Google Analytics 4 this is a very common pattern so once we fill this out you can definitely take a screenshot save this whatever so we're gonna have it's gonna be page underscore view and then add a condition and this is where we can scroll down we could do another event name but that wouldn't quite make sense for what we're trying to do and so we're gonna choose page location. Because remember, we just figured out that's where the information is being stored that we want to know about. So now we have page location and this, because we copied and pasted it a while ago, we have that piece there, like literally just grabbing this copy. And obviously it would depend on how you have all of this and see if does that translate to Google Analytics 4, you might have to make some sort of adjustments. And it's telling us real quick, it's like, hey, because we have equals, it's forcing us we need the HTTP or HTTPS well what if we don't want to do that what if we would just want to keep it contained one update since if maybe you watched um, our previous goals in Google Analytics 4 but one update is we now have a regular expression options so they look very um, very clear right here but this is a very new update as well in early uh, early to mid 2023 that one was added so uh, we're going to go ahead and change this because it's telling us it needs to have underscores. It doesn't like this spaces and you'll kind of get used to seeing that. If we come back to our real time and come back to our event name, kind of go back and back. And so you notice all of the event names are in something called snake case. Uh, if you want to know the technical term for it. So we're going to go ahead and say, uh, we're going to put WW for workshop Wednesday uh, Academy aware we're going to go keep our name um i'm just doing ww for workshop wednesday so it doesn't get kind of confused with any of our other data um and we're going to kind of be aware uh and so we have that so it's an awareness so they're aware of the product here um and i'm going to go ahead and uh, we could make some other adjustments here but we're going to go ahead and create this is the basic thing this is the thing where i said you can are going to want to know this if you're having to migrate a bunch or rebuild we're gonna use that word rebuild a bunch of destination goals this is your pattern event name equals page view page location contains the thing that you're doing if you're using actual reg regular expression and you're really good at it go ahead and choose that i will let you know that regular expression in google analytics 4 is a regular expression matches not contains a lot of google analytics Go old google analytics um, is a different type of Google uh, regular expression. Um, and this is a little bit more strict uh, knowledge for it. So get used to using ChatGPT or hit us up and ask instructor support. We'd be happy to guide you on possibly what logic you need to have for yours. 
But what the first things if you talk to us, one of the first things we'll do is ask you, how is it coming across in your reports? How is it? What do you see? And obviously you can go through some of our workshops or courses to kind of see what is it that it looks like so that you can know what to put here. So let's go ahead and create. And so now you have just migrated your destination goal. What about an event goal that you've had in Universal? So you have your lead. Um, here and so the way that that is coming through is through tag manager and i'm just going to go through this kind of quick because you uh, we have plenty of other workshops and courses of how to migrate this but i just want to show you that the reason this goal is working because we have this we have some other things that are going on like what's triggering it what's telling it when to fire that's here this is what we have this is the signal that is causing this old goal to work and so now we need to do the exact same thing with the exact same triggers inside of Google Analytics 4. And the way we do that, I'm going to pop this screen over here, is by using a recommended event name. That's actually a technical term for Google Analytics 4, recommended event. And it's called generate underscore lead, that snake case again. And so we have these uh, firing triggers. This one is a newer one, so that's why you don't see it on the old one, but it's the same concept here. So we're using looking for the name generate lead, and that's how we sent this over. And now we have that information coming into our Google Analytics 4 account. So that's how you'll just kind of transition your events that you have. You first, if it's a lead or a opt-in or something like that, you want to use generate lead as event name. If it's anything else, you can just name it your custom event, pass through whatever values you might need. As you can see, we have an action and we have a label. We just organize those in parameters. Again, that is in other courses and other workshops. I'm not gonna go too many details. Let's go ahead and continue on with our conversions and or old school goals, because we still call them goals, but now in Google X4, they are called conversions as we mentioned. So how do we go from event, because that's what I was telling us we need to do, to a conversion? And if you've noticed this little fun little guy over here, this is literally all you have to do. Flip the toggle. That's it. All you have to do is flip the toggle and flip it off as well. So I'm going to show you this little option. This one has data. So we've had this one for a while. And this is one of the brand new things, like literally days old. What we are able to do is we click on the dot and we're going to click on the dot over to conversions that's where we're going to do it it doesn't let us right now it doesn't let us change it here i think in the future it would make sense that we're able to do it here but for now we're only able to do it under conversions and so we're going to click on the dot here and it says change counting method so what in the world does that mean let's choose it and it actually does a fairly good job of explaining this you can always click on the learn more if you want to so once per session, this is the old universal way of doing this. So what that means is if someone views our sales page, goes to our homepage and goes views the sales page again, so that's two, they would only fire the goal one time. So meaning this 255, go back out of that, this 255 would not be people that are coming back and seeing it in the same session, meaning they could come back the next day or the third day or fourth day, and it would increase this number, but not if they go back to the home page or go to the cart and come back to the sales page, it would not increase this number. With Google Analytics 4, this by default, it is once per event. Well, what does that mean? Once per event means uh, remember all those events like scroll you saw the word scroll was in there page view all those things are events so it all depends on what is a more useful truth if you want to know every time someone was aware or in this case viewed the sales page then perfect keep it at once per event that might be a fantastic useful truth for you however what if you have a ton of lead magnets and we're going to click on this one, change counting method. We change this one to once per session, just for an example here. Let's say you have 10 lead magnets and they are all going to this generate lead event. Um, and so it wouldn't make sense for you to count every single one. Like if one user opted in 10 times, you would have 10 leads. But is that a useful truth? 
Not really. However, once per session possibly could be a, want, a, a useful truth for you. So again, once per event means every time this action happened. So it could, de all depends on how you are having it measured. Usually it's probably, if you're talking about these old universal goals, it's probably like a page view or whatever it is. Um, and so once per event may be useful for you or it may not. So this is where you go back to your framework and think about your questions and think about the actions that you want to be able to take. So this is where you decide, do you want to keep it at once per event or once per session? But once you make the change, um, try to keep it there just because you are going to be adjusting your data and um, you don't want to uh, have any issues with the trends and patterns that you want to be able to see. So we're going to go ahead and close this just so we can see the other one. So yes, you can do a generate lead for all of your leads. I'm going to go ahead and expand this and then just a little pro tip for you. You can also do custom events like with our aware, complete and engage your ACE results. You will be able to do that with um, your each individual lead bank. And so this is where we can see, oh, Toolbox had this many completions and maybe that we had another product like a dashboard tool and then a Google Analytics 4 template or whatever these things. Each one of those would have their own individual accounts and then this generate lead would be the roll up. So generate lead could stay at once per session as well as the other ones. And then the other events, maybe like impression, you know, our other events that we have coming through or other conversions can stay at once per session. So it all goes back to our framework, our Kia question information and action of what questions are we trying to answer? So do you want to keep it at once per event? Because that's what it's been. That's your trends and patterns. Um, go for it. Keep it there. Um, I'm just going to show you something real quick. So this count is at 1137. We're going to show you what happens if you choose it just because you might be curious what's going to happen. And it doesn't actually change anything. So if you're, you can see that this guy is here, counting method once per session, all these other things, you can definitely learn more about that too. But we're going to change it back. We save this. And so it's not retroing the data. And so that's one thing you need to be aware of. That's what I was talking about, trends and patterns. So it's collecting the data and storing the data in the way it's being told to. It's not going to go back and recalculate or remeasure anything just because we change this. So just kind of keep that in mind. Always go through your measurement marketing framework, go through your plan. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know and ask an instructor support. We're always there to help and guide you. All right. So what was your one thing? Was it the fact that you're now able to have your goals or your conversions in GA4 a lot more useful for you. All right, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button. We love for you to stay up to date every Wednesday, first Wednesday of the month. We let you know what's new, what's going on with all of these measurement platforms. So you can always stay up to date. You don't have to dig for the information. We do the digging and reporting for you. So again, remember your measure marketing framework, the question information and action. We, you know, hammered that in the last few moments of this workshop for you. So you can remember if you don't know which one you need to choose, whether all, you know, all events or every event or just once per session, you have to go back to your questions and the actions that you want to be able to say what it was going to be more useful for you. And if you're not already a Measurement Marketing Academy Toolbox member, um, just so you know, there's lots of other tools out there for you that are free and there's a, just a free membership. You don't have to uh, pay anything, get a card out or anything like that. There's a free membership. And if you do want to have more, you can definitely join us as a Measurement Marketing Academy member for marketers um, that does have a lot more features. You have the courses, uh, the workshops and all kind of other things like Ask and Instructor Support with our amazing team of instructors. Um, if you want to have a free course uh, going over the measure marketing framework that we talked about throughout this course or throughout this workshop, you can go into measure.tips slash get academy and choose the toolbox option. And inside that free toolbox option, you can get a free course for the measurement marketing framework. Now for everybody else who is already a Measurement Marketing Academy member, 
Um, definitely, if you want to review the framework course, you can do that. Um, there also is going to be eventually be an update in the upcoming weeks that's going to be recorded live. And so yes, questions about the framework and we'll be updating that um, to talk more about the relevant things that are going on in the measurement world. We always are going through updating our courses. So if that is of interest to you, make sure you watch those emails for when that is coming out. Or if you want to attend the workshop or this courses live, um, just let us know and we'll tell you how to do that. Setting up goals in Google Analytics for updated. Thanks for joining and we'll see you next time.